Thyme, with its botanical name Thymus vulgaris, has been since ages one of the major healing plants of Europe, used and praised for its ability to fight all kinds of infectious diseases, but also to enliven the spirit and to fight nervous disorders. The herb has already been known as a powerful remedy to the Sumerians, the Egyptians, the Greeks and the Romans. In modern times, we find the English herbalist Nicholas Culpepper in the 17th century praising thyme as a, quote, notable strengthener of the lungs. And not to forget, thyme was one of the major herbs to be used by Nostradamus in the south of France during the plague pandemic in the 16th century. Nature chose you. <laughs> wow. It's already distilled. Is she still in the same job? Is she still in the same job? Is she still in the same job? Is she still in And now the dance on it. Yes. Right on it. Right on it. Wow. It's beautiful. This.
Ganze, das kam 40 Minuten da und ja. Und es war jetzt je nachdem, wie lange da jetzt zwei Stunden. Wir müssen fahren, wir fahren hier. Gibt es das auch manchmal, dass man zweimal irgendwie macht? Gibt es aber nicht bei Essen. Ja. Ich meine, das gibt es besser. Je vais pas être trop. En fait, euh, ce que vous avez coloré, la jaune ou vert foncé, mm -hmm. euh, et ce qui est plus léger, it's a lighter uh, that uh, flower water, but it's heavier that uh, essential oils. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, in the middle, mm -hmm. but uh, when I when I put the, the essential oil going up, I do be careful not to, to go too fast because uh, it's not very good. Otherwise, it comes with the oil. Yeah. Yes, I stop. And you don't want it. Yeah. And I don't want because um, every time at the end we are um, obliged to uh, obliged to to filter to filter the essential oils and water flower before uh, sell it uh, in, the, in the company or in the shop. Mm -hmm. about 550 to 600 meters altitude. Time, more time old type now already at the same altitude like the other one. But the chemotype is starting to change and both plants are coexisting on this elevation. Time's immune stimulating, detoxifying and clearing properties on the lungs, the kidneys, the skin and all excretory organs have been proven at length over the last decades. Dozens of scientific research studies confirm today the amazing all-round therapeutic capacities of this miracle herb. The highly burning sensation which the usual timol or caravacol type of thyme oil leaves on the skin and mucous membranes, which itself is an expression of the fire of detoxification, is mitigated in a number of other softer thyme oils. We speak here of chemotypes and not of subspecies, since we have to do in this case always with the same species, namely Timus vulgaris. Thus, for example, the thyme oils of the chemotype linalol geraniol, tuyanol-4, etc., are milder expressions of the extremely variegated thyme group. These types of thyme rather favor the presence of floral alcohols of a sweet balsamic fragrance instead of the phenols. They nevertheless do not lack the typical medicinal signature of the whole thyme species. But there are also numerous other species of the thyme genus, such as, for example, Timus sapillum, Timus cigis, Timus hiemalis, etc. The Timus vulgaris herb is native to southern Europe, specifically France, Italy and Spain. 
In spring, the dwarf shrub develops tetragonal stalks and small leaves. The inflorescence shows spike-like arrangements, with the flowers being rosy, white or light purple. The flowering period is from May to June. The essential oil is obtained through steam distillation of the flowering herb. The scent, depending on the chemotype, can be described as spicy, warm, sweet, sometimes also fresh and lemon-like. However sweet and soft some of the thyme oils may appear, they do not forget the nature of thyme and its signature, lying in its definite antimicrobial, fungicide and parasite-fighting properties which empower the immune system. This strong nature of thyme gives it a position of a watch guard in our body since it often gives fast relief from numerous infections. Inflammatory processes like stomatitis, gastritis, bacterial or fungal enterocolitis, etc., as well as pulmonary problems like bronchitis and also muscular rheumatism are successfully approached with thyme oil. Furthermore, anemia and intestinal problems find rewarding results. Thyme also increases capillary circulation. It tonifies and strengthens the scalp and helps against dandruff and hair loss. But attention, of course, has to be made with the fiery phenolic types of thyme oil, the chemotypes of timol and Covacrol, specifically. Thyme has also a stimulating effect on the adrenal glands and therefore increases hormonal output. It is an excellent energizer, neurotonic and uterotonic and a recognized aphrodisiac. Its strong psychosomatic energy helps to strengthen the person to handle the daily challenges in a more relaxed way. And it helps to charge the batteries of our life, for example the kidney function, and at the same time revitalizes our exchange with the world, for example via the lung function. Time is truly able to give us a more optimistic, less anxious outlook on ourselves and on life. Truly a powerful resonator of a mighty flame for life. <laughs>